All right, well, first off, I have never taken a quiz in this specific format. So this is definitely a different type of quiz format. All right, so first question states, what is the difference between a screenshot and a screencast? All right, so the difference is between a screenshot and a screencast. A screencast is a digital recording of a computer screen output, but then a screenshot is an image of a computer screen output at any given moment in time, okay? So that is question number one. All right, so who said books will be obsolete in 10 years? That is Thomas Edison. All right, so Thomas Edison, he stated that books will be obsolete in 10 years. All right, number three, why use screenshots with students and what are some ways that you can use them? Um, one of the ways that I would use screenshots is just reminders um, and announcements, um, giving them reminders of what's coming up. How do you locate certain materials in the course? Um, how do you locate certain grades in the course? Um, where are all the different modules? And in the different modules, you know, where can you locate certain animations, PowerPoint presentations, assignments, quizzes, exams? Um, also going over the calendar with students, making sure they know where all the due dates can be located, where the syllabus can be located. Um, also telling the students in a screen um, a screencast, where the Canvas inbox is located, where they can locate all their email within Canvas. So that's question number three. So what are some differences between impromptu screencasting and planned screencasting? So with impromptu, um, it can be quick, easy to make videos. You can provide formative, summative feedback. You don't really have to think about a way of really incorporating um, any typing. Um, can be directed by one person or can be directed to one person or even a group um, and does not really require um, captioning or transcripts. Now, planned, uh, planned screencast, big difference here, this is planned. So it's going to take a lot more time to develop that type of screencast. Uh, can be used to make a video resource for not just one course, but multiple sections of a course. Can also... Um, show maybe better demonstrations for formative or quick feedback, but this usually will require captions or a transcript. So that is question number five. All right, and last but not least, um, question number uh, question number five. Um, yes, I have realized that students probably can take multiple screenshot, uh, screencasts when they are taking a quiz or an um, a quiz or an, an exam. But what I try to do to really make sure that students are not cheating is I time all of my quizzes and I time all of my exams. Okay, so every quiz and exam in my class is timed. So hopefully, since these quizzes and exams are timed, sorry for that D, um, hopefully that will help minimize cheating because they are only given about a minute and a half to two minutes per um, quiz question or per exam question. And I also do not provide, uh, I provide feedback for students for every quiz and exam, but I do not show the correct answers for my quizzes and my exams in Canvas. So hopefully I passed this quiz. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye-bye.